Good afternoon, guys. So where are we are heading, Jocks? We're heading to different wineries. So our first stop here is uh, Taylor's. Um, but yeah, the Clare Valley area is pretty much a renowned winery. It's about two hours north of Adelaide, and it's where we're staying for the next two days. So um, yeah, the good thing is where the town is located, the wineries aren't very far at all. I think it only took us 16 minutes to get to this one, and on our list, this was the furthest on the way. So probably in five ten minutes you actually have a lot of wineries all around you so you don't have to travel far at all um, so yes yeah, so we're about to reach Taylor's I've had their wine before um, I think I've actually still got some in the cellar back at sports house um, so yeah it's actually good good tasting wine and yeah we'll see what's actually here so Bulaga guys we're gonna be there in one minute so back to you Dynamo Bulaga so yeah guys for today's video we are doing a wine tasting here to Sakler Bari what are we waiting for Happy watching Yep. Okay guys, so nandito na tayo sa Claire Ay, sa Claire Valley guys, sa Taylor guys So you can see left and right there have a huge uh, field ng vineyards guys So this is the entrance of the Taylor So we are going to do a wine tasting so, Ayan So from Monday to Friday 9 to 5 And weekends and public holidays 10 to 4 Ayan If you are not very uh, you, if you are new to my channel meters, turn right. and if you're not very familiar guys we love wine tasting guys especially here in South Australia there's a lot of wine ta uh, winery vineyards here guys so guys yeah that's stuff that's construction here's the entry up for the ramp here look how oh, so sharp you know guys okay, here we go look at this entrance it's a grand. A lot of Looks like we're going to do a hotel <laughs> vibes. Very. Aliganda. There are, there's a parking. I am very nice. Very, very pretty view as well. It's nice. Oh, good oh. weather too. That's a very nice thing. So guys, we're here at Taylor's, um, it's actually nice, well, I'll show you the front entrance shortly, but yeah, we've got a whole outdoor area here, we've got tables and chairs, there's like artwork and sculptures, and look at the view when you, if you were to be drinking outside here, apart from the construction work on the right there, very nice, so the sculptures there, very green, it's a nice, very sunny day here. Dynamo's getting her stuff together, but here is Taylor's. So it actually looks like a castle. So we've got reception there, cellar doors to the left. And there's actually barrels and stuff outside as well, so I'm guessing you might be able to buy wine and drink it here. So in Dynamo, we'll hopefully get our stuff together shortly. Here's okay, some barrels. Doesn't look like there's many people here, but there's only two other cars, so it's, I think uh, the weekdays are probably a good day to do stuff. Uh, this way. Okay, guys, I'll turn it. We got here yesterday. We're staying yeah. in Claire. Um, and yeah, this is our first, I guess, probably full day. We didn't get in until like four o'clock yesterday. Yeah. So, yeah, this is the first. First chance to do a few wineries? Pretty much, yeah. We had a relaxing morning, so this is actually our first stop. Yeah. So, yeah. I right. thought we'd start with a, like a furthest away one, which is a better work away back towards yeah. the town. And have you got anywhere specific on your to-do list today? Not really. Um, like I said, yeah, we've just got a few wineries sort of um, on Google Maps and yeah. we'll zigzag around and then tomorrow we won't do wineries, we'll actually do more sightseeing tomorrow. Yeah, excellent. 
No, I think it's nice weather. It's probably the warmest day we've had in about two weeks because we've been down in Victor Harbour and... Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was warm the first weekend. Like, I was in shorts and I actually used the water park. Yeah. Um, then after that, it's like, yeah, no, it's like 14 degrees every day. That ocean wind really does come up. <laughs> yes, yes, the wind was, yeah. Yeah, not too bad. I don't normally drink white, so yeah. it's actually quite, yeah, quite pleasant. <coughs> so what are they doing down there with construction? Yeah, so we're actually building a brand new cellar door. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's oh, be I really this is quite grand. It looks like a castle. <laughs> I mean, it's quite impressive. Well, the castle will still be here because this is all of our, um, all our bottling, all our production, all our wine making done up here. We just need a much bigger space. Oh, okay. Um, so and we'll have some entertaining space down there for yeah. functions and that sort of thing. Oh, okay. And, yeah, so people can really kind of sit down, enjoy the cellar door, they don't feel I was going to say, I thought it was brilliant outside with like the, the tables and chairs outside there overlooking the sculptures and that down the bottom. Yeah, it's lovely um, when the weather is lovely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, when it's not so lovely, it's uh, not super yeah. nice to sit out there. Well, I think it is meant to rain tomorrow. <laughs> could yeah, be. I did hear someone say earlier that it's meant to be quite, uh, quite damp for the rest of the week. <laughs> I guess that's uh, springtime for you. Yeah. The rosé next. So quite uh, a sweet nose on this one. Uh, yep. A bit of floral. Get some strawberries, raspberries on the palate, but it's got a nice dry finish. Mm. So a bit more akin to a traditional French style rosé. Open on one next. All the ones that are green are open seven days. And oh, okay. I thought that was a specialty. <laughs> <laughs> um, do I do red? And then all um, the ones that are yeah. purple are open generally just on the weekends. Oh, okay. Yeah. So does this one differ to like the white label ones? Yeah. So uh, between all of our different ranges, um, our white makers really focus on the intention. What are they wanting to get out of the wine? what's going to be sort of their aim when they're producing this wine. So TWP is our cellar door exclusive range. You oh. can only get it here at cellar door. Um, just gives our wine makers a chance to play around a little bit, whether that's out in the vineyards or here in cellar door. You can kind of uh, stretch their wings. They're all mad scientists. They love to have a bit of a play. Yeah, they're not bad as well. And finishing off with the Cabernet. Are all the grapes growing in the region here or do you have Yeah, so we have a little bit of a mix of stuff like where we're sourcing our fruit from. So about a third uh, of the fruit we use is coming from the estate here. Yep. So all the vineyards that you would have seen on your way in, all yep. the vineyards that we own. A further, further third coming from uh, other Clare Valley growers. So we have a lot yep. of grower partners in the region. And then that extra third coming from further out, so whether that be is things that don't grow really well here, like Sauvignon Blanc or Pinot Noir, um, or whether we're purposefully pulling fruit from other regions uh, for added complexity, uh, like with our Durham range, how we're blending two regions, uh, sort of celebration of the world, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Because where you're sourcing your fruit from does have a massive difference on yeah, how the fruit's nice. gonna taste, how the fruit's gonna react in the winemaking yeah. process. <coughs> Yeah, that's why I do a lot of processing and stuff. Yeah, if you were wanting to order um, any wine. Yeah, let's possibly get a couple of bottles of a Shiraz, please. Absolutely. And you signed up to family and friends, no problem? Yeah, I've just signed up then, yeah. Easy.
Is there any meaning behind the logo? The three seahorses? The seahorses? Yeah. yeah, so when we were, uh, we bought the property in 1969 and Bill Taylor Sr. knew that the most important thing that you need when you're trying to grow a whole bunch of plants is water. Yeah. So uh, he set out and he dug our first vineyard dam and we found fossilized seahorses oh, when we were yeah. digging. So that sort of uh, signified to us that the land was really fertile and we have that lovely uh, limestone underneath our oh. terrace soil, which yeah. things like Riesling or vines really love because it holds a lot of water in there. So oh, during okay. the summer, the limes can sort of reach their roots down and uh, we don't have to irrigate as much, that sort of thing. Yeah. And we have the three seahorses for three generations of winemakers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, whenever you're ready, that's just going to be 40 for the two bottles today. Pinot going to be on the left hand side of the machine. Um, actually, it's possible to grab a Pinot Noir as well. Yeah. Oh, no, just cancel. 63 altogether. Just on the left hand side of the Pinot Now, I'll pop these ones maybe in a six pack box, and when you keep going to different wineries, you can Thank just you. keep filling it. Yeah, we're in a caravan, so these <laughs> do tend oh, to move yes. around a bit. <laughs> about lunch place walls, I think it says something general store. The Waterville general store, yeah. yeah. Is that so, just on the main road? Yeah, the so as off? you're driving through Waterville, um, there'll be, <coughs> it's not lunch, um, <laughs> they'll yeah. usually have like a flag out the front or a yeah. sign out the front, so. Yeah, yeah. All right, cheers. Thank you. What's that? Your chocolate. Oh, chocolate? Yeah, what's this? No, I don't think I've eaten any chocolate. <laughs> I have no idea. What's this? <laughs> All I had this morning was just uh, like <laughs> So guys, we're here at uh, Killer Canoon uh, winery here in Clare Valley. Um, so it's actually, yeah, look, there's a lot of plant life here. There's cherry blossoms, there's a lot of bees there, so it's very summer. I oh, was not summer, spring, sorry. So doing a lot of pollination. Uh, so we got the, the bees there. So look at the entrance way. It's yeah, very green, very picturesque. There's another cherry blossom here. Hey, you can go, go in, don't about the photo. Here we go, so this is the cellar door in here. It looks like an old homestead, very nice. So it's got the bicycle parking, so this might be part of a Riesling trail as well. So guys, we'll join you back inside very shortly. It looks like a sit down service.
I did notice you passed a few here. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's where Mr. Lenore was. The Cabernet Vineyard is on the opposite side, on the left hand side where the winery is, which is where a lot of our vineyards are. So one gets the morning light, the other one gets the afternoon. So it's a beautiful 70-30 day. This is my favourite, you would have tried it anyway. This is one of I think a pike is a type of fish. And it's another vineyard again. This is our third vineyard for today's video, guys. This is a Kebali. So we will, we will do a wine tasting again here, guys, as usual. And yeah, so their flag is not on half, so they don't respect, respect the queen. So at the moment, today is a beautiful weather, people. So we just like like feeling the weather for today is because tomorrow is not good weather. Down. So guys, we're here at Pike's Brewery. Oh, Pike, that's Pike's beer there, but uh, Pike's, um, I guess, is the wine here as well. So there's a tasting room there. I think that's the yeah, restaurant where I, I can see a lot of vats for the beer. So there's outdoor seating here, which actually on a day like today would actually be really nice. A few old looking buildings, I don't know if they're new or not, but they look rustic and stuff. So there's more outdoor seating here. First brewing vessel in use, 1886. So here you go inside, more wine tasting. thank you. Have a bit of a chip in it. Yeah. So, have a look at the wine list. So, there's whites on one side and reds on the other. Oh, okay. uh, so, are we only interested in the reds today? Eh? Pretty much, yeah. Not really much of a white drinker. No worries. That's the one, mate. Hello, guys. Nice. This is a cellar door. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's another. Like that's more tasting. Yeah, you can see there. Quite where it's up. It's not too busy. So the locus is located in front of that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just a blend of those two great varieties, the Monte Corciano and the Nero Dabola. Um, no time in oak. 10 day skin contact, so very little tannin. So yeah, just really high or showcasing the fruit. I'm, I'm probably actually going to lean on you now because I don't really drink much of sort of like the middle ones. So probably if I'm going to have maybe four or five more ones, which ones would you sort of recommend? Uh, how do you find the Novello? It's actually quite nice. Uh, usually I'm sort of more of a sort of Shiraz yeah. probably drinker. Um, I probably was going to taste a couple of these, but I'll probably lean on you for what to sort of taste in the middle there. Sure. What we might do, we might look at one of the Sangioveses, which are a little bit heavier than Novello, and then maybe the Cabernet Blend, the Dog Walk Cabernet is a good, easy drinking Cabernet Blend. Yep. Blend of the Cap Sav and the Cap Franc. Yep. And then we'll look at a couple of Shiraz after that. Yes, that's Happy good. to do that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Sangiovese planted here on the estate since the early 1990s um, when it was considered to be an alternative grape variety. Um, it's not anymore, um, plenty of Sangiovese around. The price was just a, uh, the first um, place in the Clean Valley on Sangiovese on the ground. Um, easy drinking, quite a nice pizza, that kind of wine, just really good for that. Now, um, that was the Lucio. Yeah, did you want to try 
think you mentioned the dog. Yeah, the dog, the Cabernet blend, the yeah, we'll blend of those two Cabernet grapes. Yeah. Yeah. Very different uh, characteristics from the two Cabernet grapes there. So Cab Sav typically is your, um, you know, your darker, plummy fruits, whereas your, your Franc, nice aromatics and more about the red fruits there. So just an easy drinking Cabernet blend. Now, thoughts on the dog wall? We quite like that as well, yeah. Quite easy to drink, isn't it? Yeah. Designed to, uh, it's good Cabernet for people that aren't huge Cab Sav drinkers. Some people find Cab Sav too tannic, a bit too green. The Franc in there just uh, softens yeah. the tannins a little bit. So? Um, probably for Shiraz Tapanilla. Yeah. No worries. Tempranillo, um, the idea being just to soften the spice of the Shiraz a little bit, make it an easy drinking blend. Okay. So not really big and bold like a, a Barossa style Shiraz, so it's a lighter style, easy drinking. So we're a higher, cooler part of the Clear Valley here, so our wines have some of those cool climate characteristics and one of those being just a step back towards medium body, so. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Chatu Tanunda. Okay, people. so that's a Riesling trail to the left. Mama Mary. Mary. Yeah, maybe it's a religious thing. I mean, there's a church, I think, of a right here. Let me do a, like a little turn we go in and you can get it on camera. Yeah. Right. So, yes, guys, so people, is it the Mitsubishi? It looks like the 300, too. Yeah, it is. So, I'm going to make a, I'll do like a loop so you can get this it's on camera. Cold. Okay guys, so we are in the Seven Hill Cellar Door here in... Yeah, that, that's not the cellar door, that's a church of some kind. Yeah. It says Jesus, I think, on the, up there, like on the, on the stones. So when you do bad things, guys, you go to the church. Oh. Which is weird, but it's right next to where you drink alcohol. Yeah. Now I need to turn around again. Actually, let me do it in a little... In 100 metres, turn yeah. left. Here yeah, we go around there. So that's the church on the side of the winery. Yeah, it's a weird place you can see there's a lot of vineyards here. I think they're on their vineyard and yeah, so at the moment we're gonna see any plants, grapes there because it's only in September at the moment guys. Yeah, it's only starting to get to sort of like warmer weather. I mean they kind of So if you will go here in Clarenvale Valley, it's... you can see a lot of uh, vineyard uh, bloom. Like December and January. It says Hazutra Retreat Center. So I think it's like a religious sort retreat. of retreat or something there. So we are heading to the cellar door. Look under, guys. there's like white tables and chairs outside. Oh, that's so a there's, little, there's a creek under here. It's still cold. Yeah, it's not too bad today. It'd actually be nice to sit outside today because the sun's bright. So as yeah. long as you're in the sun, you'd be warm. You look. Okay, so. I wonder if this is actually like part of old church or something, like maybe it's an old um, monastery or something like that. So now we are heading to the main cellar doors, guys. You can see a church. Established retreats. in 1851. Yeah. Take it slow, you can check out the building. How many, how many stars is this just? I don't know. Maybe so. Oh, there's a bike, there's bicycles here, so people have probably ridden along the Riesling Trail and come here. 
so I can go under the trees, but since I've solar, I might as well charge up the batteries and I'll go and pile up everything's in the sun. You know, there are the third one there. You won't. Yeah, I'll even know too much. Because yeah. 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 No, bin. So guys, this is walking back from the CR. So you can tell it's a very beautiful day today. Very blue skies. Probably 21, 22 degrees. So kind of really nice. Not much wind. So it's actually very pleasant. Not have to wear a jumper today. So yeah, probably pants or shorts would be suffice. So there's a lot of seating outside. So it must, during the warmer weather, probably sell bottles and you can probably drink outside and so that's walking towards the cellar door over there. We're parked over here now, so we'll join back shortly. Okay, so last wine tasting. So sort of space out there for plenty of drinking. There's bikes, bike racks. Look like it's all like something for a caravan. Yeah, well, I don't think it's... Maybe not, it's probably for a food van or something. Maybe if there's food vans. So we go. So it's, I think, close to four o'clock now, so it's probably the perfect time. Hey, on back shortly. Okay. Oh. So it's actually like a, well, your fermentation tank here, so Seven Hill. So it's very, very gunda. There's, I think these might actually still be in action, so. I'll go the long way rather than going up the stairs. So all these have probably got wine in them and probably being used to date. Yeah, tawny and stuff, so it's probably actually all got alcohol in there. So you've got these big barrels. So this is the wheelchair ramp. I can hear in dynamo running behind me. So it's actually probably a very historic. There you go, so you can see the Seven Hills down the bottom there. So we'll go inside the cellar door now and have a look see. Okay, guys, so we have the Indigo Seven Hill Cellar Wine Portfolio for today's video. And this one is the one we will yeah, do. Yeah, just those two ones, you guys? Yep. Are they together tonight? Yep. So what you would choose to do? Oh, yeah. I've just wiped down the spot down the end there for you. So if you take those over with you, I was going to say you can probably. Oh, I was going to say Charles will do those. Oh, okay, okay. yeah, no worries. This one works a lot better.
Pinot Green. Yes, I do. Thank you. So, white wine. Okay, so that was Pinot Gris. This one's Grenache. Vineyard, and then we went to have our uh, lunch at the general store in was it Waterdale? So, so you've done that, you've got dinner organised? No, no. Not yet. We had, um, <laughs> we had the Indian food last night, we were staying in Clare at the Caravan Park, oh, so yeah. we went to the Indian place last night. So I'll probably, yeah, when we get back to the Caravan, I'll probably, yeah, like bring up and look somewhere else. Good, Ragu, if you want to go to the Luke Classic, Classic Australian pub, you drive to Minnesota. And go, go to the, the yeah, we went to Taylor's and I think she said the same thing is <laughs> don't, don't go to the pubs in Clare, I think is what she said. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, no, nothing fancy there, it's just football pubs and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, Mintero was a lovely pub. Just cool. Yeah, I think we're going to go there yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. Like, like today we're doing the wineries, tomorrow we're doing like the, oh, sort like the day trip oh, around. Got the borough and stuff, beautiful. Borough yeah, I think, yeah, Mintero and yeah, there as well, because I think... When we're going to be driving through, we're going to have a caravan, so it'll probably be hard after that, so... Yeah, drive around without the caravan. Yeah. Do that. But, but Mintero is nice, yeah. not with a caravan. Yeah. <laughs> and Burroughs, you can park a caravan and go, but yeah. it depends where you're going to stay in That's right, I found that, like, where we're saying, Clint, like, most things are kind of in this, like, a, a close radius. Absolutely. Like even today, I think the furthest you have to drive is Taylor's and that was like just a minute drive, so yeah. everything is quite close together. Thanks for your help. Uh, Bye. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you can get um, So you're not going home or anything tomorrow? No, no, tomorrow we're still here and then I think we leave on Thursday and then we're going to Broken Hill. Oh, lovely. So, but we're going to be staying overnight, so we're not going to be in a real rush. We're going to put a stop halfway. And, and it's going to rain tomorrow, so you want to see a place where you can get to and uh, yeah. in the rain. The fire is nice, though. If you, it's worth it's 30 days or so. Yeah. From there, maybe 35. Oh, sorry, that's it's, it's like nothing at all, drive. really. It's half an hour drive, and it's lovely. Yeah. You've got beautiful antique shops. And the scene is amazing. Yeah, the yeah, rules of bar are something else. It was very picturesque coming in. We drove from Victor Harbour yesterday and like coming in sort of up and over hills yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And everything is green and it's yeah. quite sunny. It's like, yesterday. It's like island this time of year. Yeah, green. And then it looks like a desert in February. Oh, okay. <laughs> Every <laughs> day. Yeah, I guess it gets a bit more hotter than Adelaide, does it here? Yeah, but the, the only thing green are the vineyards. Oh, okay, yeah. And everything else is dusty and dry. But that's the same as Greece or something. It's exactly the same as Greece. 
na posição, né? É. So what's your connection to the church on entry? Uh, so the church is what started this cellar door. So they made all the sacramental plans here. Uh, and we still do it. So In Seven Hill, the, the Sacre Valley people, it's 1851 they started it. So um, most of the wineries here or the cellar doors close like 5 p.m., 4.30, like that, or 5, depends. So they have a equipment spot. They have got the stumps and uh, soccer balls, footballs, so you can probably play sports out of the... Oh, so there. There you go. So you can, well, I'll see Mama and Papa drinking the wine, the Anak can play the, the sports. So they also have like a lot of vineyards here. And then I think it's highly recommended to go here like December and January, February onwards. Well, it'll definitely be a lot more pleasant if you're drinking outside. Yeah. So that's it, guys. That's our wine tasting here to sa Claire Valley. So nakita nyo, guys. Clare Valley is another wine region dito sa South Australia. So this is one things to do kapag kayo ay nasa Clare Valley. As a tourist, locals, tourists, you need to try their wineries, their vineyard tours, guys. Like we started earlier from the faraway wineries, papunta sa mga closest wineries. So, the first stop is the Taylor's Wine, the second is the Kilakanun, and the third is the Pikes, the fourth, and but not the least is the Seven Hill. Na nakita niya, there's also a convention. So, different wineries, different vineyards, they do accept any type of occasions, gatherings, and parties, and many more, and I will put their sock med in my description box down below and you can check it out for yourself so anyway highway we do highly recommend yung mga napuntahan naming wineries because this is one of the uh, included in the top list kapag kayo ang mga wine tasting dito sa Clare Valley sa South Australia so ayun na nga guys lahat sila masarap masarap din yung mga red wines because we do love red wines than white wines guys so so anyways highway this is the end of our wine tasting vineyards in Clare Valley guys in South Australia so I hope you enjoy watching you learned something today plus you had fun for today's video guys thank you very much for watching thank you for supporting my videos and my love shout out each wonderful beautiful people of the universe thank you from the bottom of my hypo thalamus please like if you did enjoy my video for today yeah. and please subscribe if you haven't yet yeah. and don't forget to hit the bell button for you to get notified on my next yeah. video and please comment down below if you like this video yeah. see you when i see you on my next one bye bye guys be good you take care be safe and mwah. ciao la